My name is Morgan Strickland. I am a professional opera singer myself and a music educator, and I also own a performing arts company. It's really in a place where I struggle to find a balance between um, time and money and trying to build a business, having to say no to new clients because there weren't any other places to put them, but not wanting to say no. And I really needed to find a new way of doing things. Uh, yes, for life balance, but also to answer some of the stumbling blocks that you know my, my students have been experiencing over the last many years. I heard about your five-day workshop, which was very inviting, and I attended, I registered the first time, only partially attended, and then felt that I got enough information at that time to start thinking, and then realized I needed to do more. So I attended a second time and I really felt inspired by the opportunity and the idea of what if, like what if we went against the norm? What if we weren't teaching traditionally and I wasn't spending all my nights at the studio and I wasn't giving away all my time for free. And mm -hmm. that was very exciting. And I started to crave that need. So I decided that it was important to track myself toward an opportunity to work with you so that I could better understand your process and I, I'm happily on my way. My confidence is big and it's really understanding that imposter syndrome that musicians have that I have. It's like, why, why should I deserve to make this? Why well, should deserve because I spent a quarter of a million dollars on schooling and I'm good at what I do and people are asking. So why am I not asking for what I need? And so coming out of this first uh, car experience, I find myself in a place of um, like feeling that I have the self-worth and that I need to ask for what I want and that it, it matches what people think of me also. It matches the reputation. They're willing to pay for what they know they're being offered. I think being able to reframe the information I want and feel like I could offer an option to new students that actually fulfilled all the parts I want to share. Um, you know, I often feel stifled in short little lessons where I want to share more. I know that if I had more time, I would be able to impart more knowledge for them to get farther, but we run out of time. In this capacity, I'm able to start building a, a series of um, calls or videos full of information that I want to impart and still have little bits of time either in a group or in a one-on-one -on -one session and I'm sort of meeting all my needs and while I'm just embarking on this journey I definitely feel confident in what I'm offering. I think I was surprised the first one I, I felt confident delivering and then I was like oh I was like, okay, they see the value in this. Wow. So I had to do a little bit of soul searching there. Then I, I sort of regrouped. And for the next one, I was much more direct and confident with what I was offering. And as a result, the yes was faster. And, um, and it empowers me to want to give quality work. It empowers me to want to do what I have to do. And I don't feel sluggish or like, oh, I don't feel like it today. Like I really wanted to give back. And my work is being honored the way I feel it should be. So that's, that is personally rewarding and exciting. It feels like a relief. It feels like a relief. Like I have what I need so I can take what I want in the rest of my life. I can actually watch a movie with my spouse and it's not just, you know, on Sundays between seven and 10, I can have a moment to go and meet a girlfriend or a colleague and have important conversations and connection conversations with people in my music community, even our family, have a glass of wine. Every other time I'm saying no, because I'm at work every night. <laughs> So that part, it's a relief. Just in one word, it's a relief. It's and and it's just lovely. Scalability. I was really feeling like this was not an option. Um, I mean, you can always scale with the number of hours you have, but if you desire to do more, and I think that's really the turning point, if you desire for more and to do more or to be more impactful, you know, align with your, your personal directives and your personal goals. And then this has offered me an opportunity to actually put them into action and be rewarded financially in the way that my, my time and my expertise is worthy of do it. Be prepared for, be prepared to do a lot of work yourself. You need to take ownership of what you're doing. You need to ask the questions. If you need more help, you need to ask for more help. Um, if you need those one-on-ones, like stay on it so that you get what you need from the program. But if you just surrender to the process, it is new, it is uncomfortable, but it will get you results. So you have to kind of go through those hurdles and get out of your own way and find that success at the other end.